Are you looking for a way to publish your Obsidian notes directly into your WordPress website? Then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Matt Jarrow, and this channel is for content creators, coaches, and experts who want to speed up their content creation workflow so that they can create more money-making content faster. And if you're tired of merely saving notes without being able to produce meaningful content out of them, then check out my free course it's the first link in the description. So with that being said, let's just see how we can make Obsidian and WordPress work together. So the first thing that you need to do is simply open your Obsidian Vault, head over to the settings by clicking on the little gear right here, and then heading over to community plugins. So if you don't have any community plugins, click on turn on community plugins. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click on browse right here and simply search for WordPress. And that's pretty much the only plugin that exists. So you're going to click on that, simply hit install. After it's installed, you're simply going to click on enable right here. So right now that you've installed the plugin, we're simply going to head back to the settings, community plugins, WordPress. And right now we simply have to key in, key in our WordPress URL. So in my case, it's metgero.com. And the other thing that I really like to activate right here is the icon in the sidebar. So let me just toggle this on and keep an eye on what happens on the left-hand side right here. So you see the WordPress plugin on the left-hand side, right? So this will be especially useful when it comes to actually publishing your note straight on your WordPress website. So let me just show you exactly how to do that. So let's create our blog post right here. So this is the blog post title, and let's just uh, add some random text right here. And right now, let's assume that I want to publish this on my blog. I simply have to click on WordPress publish, and then now you'll see this pop up. And it will prompt you for the username, the password, and it will also give you the ability to actually remember the username and remember the password so that next time it can publish it to your blog straight away. So right now comes the next step. The next step is creating a password that will be used by the plugin to log into your website and publish the article. So let's just see how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to head over to admin panel and then simply go to users profile. And then what I want you to do, I want you to scroll down to the part of the page that states application passwords. And here we can now set an application password for Obsidian. So I'm going to name this originally Obsidian and then simply click on add new application password. This is now your application password. So I'm simply going to copy this and right now use it as my password right here. So when it comes to the username, you could get confused, but the username right here is your WordPress username. It's not the username that we created for this application, right? So be sure to not mess up with this. And in my case, I'm going simply to key in my username right here, and I'm simply going to click on login. And now I have the second pop-up. This one will pop up every time because it will allow you to select the post status. So do you want this post to be a draft or go live directly? Do you want the comment status to be open or closed? And in which category do you want to publish this post? So I'm okay with setting it as a draft because it's just for demonstration purposes. And let's just click on publish and just see how it goes. So as you can see, I have this nice notification right here. And now let's head back over to my WordPress installation. Let's click on all posts and then let's just see how this looks like. So I really like it. Right now let's just take a look on how this actually looks like on the blog itself. So as you can see, this is the blog post title and here we have our dummy text. So it looks perfect to me. So yeah, congrats on setting up this workflow. And if you want to learn more about how to set up a rock solid content creation workflow when it comes to taking notes and producing meaningful content out of them, then be sure to check out my free course. It's the first link in the description.